Hello guys, this is part 4 in my ARDL series and this is the most important part because it deals with balance test and in here the key question is do we have co-integration and so when you look at this model right here it's a three variable model where y is the dependent variable and we have two regressors x1 and x2 now but notice that this first part right here is the short run component. The long run component is right here and this is where our focus is. And here we're going to be doing a joint test of the coefficients of these uh, long run terms, phi 1, 2, and 3, and that's what you see right here. If we fail to reject this null hypothesis, then we're going to conclude that there is no long run relationship. But if we reject it, then we're going to say surely we do have co-integration among these uh, variables. And so the three variables I'm using here are going to be the log of tourism arrivals in the US and you can see it here lag one time and the regressors include the Chicago Board Options Exchange Volatility Index VIX, current value and current term and uh, uh, term lag one period and also the CBOE uh, BXM which is the uh, options buy right uh, hedge portfolio and all these variables have one lag so this is the short run components the blue right here if I were to use uh, the eViews uh, equation representation and the red is actually our key focus because it deals with the long run components so anyhow let's um, go ahead and demo this guy real quick right here on eViews and here are my variables the log of arrival the log of BXM and the log of uh, VIX right here so we're gonna go to quick and estimate equation but you know though before we continue if you were to do this uh, least square style the old school way you would have had to type out the entire ARDL bounce test specification and you would have had to hit OK and this is your beautiful output and you're gonna notice that these are the long run terms and these are their corresponding coefficients which you test jointly making sure to note their numerical order so this would be C1 2 3 4 5 6 and then 7 8 9 is what you're gonna be testing and you would have to go to view go to coefficient diagnostics and sorry and go to wall test and then you would have to go C7 equal C8 equal C9 equal 0 you got it and you hit OK and that's your F statistic and this is not gonna be the basis to determine if you have long run relationship you'd have to compare this to the uh, critical values to the bound test critical values um, that Passaran et al. presented in the 2001 paper and you're gonna see that shortly actually so but this is this is old school so let's kill this because now with the newer versions of um, of eViews from 9 and above you can simply go to quick go to estimate equation and simply type the names of the variables L error and L VX and L VIX. I'm sorry, uh, VXM, right? There you go. There you go. That's all you got to do. Then come here for method, click on it, and go down and select ARDL. And for lags, all right, it's going to do automatic selection, but for maximum lags within which to allow the criterion to determine what the optimal lag should be I'm just gonna uh, choose two you can really choose whatever pleases you quite frankly in so far as you make sure it's it makes sense and you have no zero correlation for options you can choose any one of a couple of criteria right here information criteria the popular ones are Akaiki and Schwartz I'm just gonna stay with Akaiki for now all right what else do I need to do here? My trend specification here is constant only. All right, and I'm good to go. Okay. Now, what you see here, ladies and gentlemen, is the traditional ARDL model, which, as you can see here, uh, includes the um, autoregressive terms, 
and which are basically lags of the dependent variable and then the distributed lag terms which is going to be lags of the um, independent variables r right there <laughs> all right okay but importantly observe that the maximum number of lags examined uh, for both the dependence variable and the uh, independence variable the regressors that is is two and out of that the selected model is what you see right here which is one lag for y which is um, the tourism arrivals variable one lag for x1 and one lag for x2 all right accordingly all right so to perform our bounds test go to view coefficient diagnostics hover over it and come right here to long run form and bounds test and voila so what do we see here well first of all the way this is presented shows the long run terms up front and these are their corresponding coefficients okay so let's go further down what you see here in the middle the levels equation is really the long run levels equation where the regressors are LVX and LB LBXM and these are their coefficients but ladies and gentlemen the most important thing is right here the F bounds test which gives us a statistic of 12.075 K which is the number of regressors is 2 because we have Y which is the dependent variable and there are two regressors X1 and X2 namely LVX and LBXM now though what do we need to compare this to? It's a bounds test. The lower bound is at the 5% level is 3.79 and the upper bound is 4.85. If your calculated F is below this lower bound, you do not have co-integration. Forget it. If it's between the lower bound and the upper bound, it's indeterminate. If it's above this upper bound, you do have co-integration and you're going to have to you should reject the null hypothesis and as you can see this guy right here 12.07 exceeds this upper bound so we can emphatically reject the null hypothesis and conclude that there is evidence of co-integration among these variables a couple of diagnostics would be quite fine however before I, I do so though um, check this out it also gives you um, a T statistics um, bounds uh, results as well but you have to examine this in terms of absolute value so the absolute value of this is 5.96 and that's the uh, calculated t and then you compare to the absolute values of these bounds and of course this number right here is greater than this upper bound in absolute terms but anyhow like I said a couple of uh, diagnostics so go to view do residual diagnostics at least zero correlation LM tests and I'm gonna choose one lag because that's what I started out using okay and as you can see here we do have evidence that there is no correlation alright so anyhow so the point here is that we cannot reject the null hypothesis of no serial correlation so we're happy with that go back to view and let's do stability diagnostics a little bit so go to recursive estimates and let's choose custom test and OK it and in so far as this blue line lies within the 5% boundary you're good and for good measure you can also go right back to stability diagnostics and this time choose the custom of squares test and, ag and again this line lies between the uh, within the 5% uh, boundary and that's really all she wrote.